Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on circles. Now in this video we will discuss how the equal chords or when the chords are equidistant uh, from the center of a circle. So how the concept can be used to solve further problems. So which are very important from the exam point of view. So you have to watch this part very carefully. Then we will discuss some of the theorems related to equal chords and how if possible like if they are equidistant from the center of a circle so how we can use that concept to solve the further problems then we'll discuss one example related to equal chords and when they are equal from the distance from the center of the circle so how we can solve the different type of question that example will ex actually explain how we can solve the different type of questions now so let's get started first with the introduction now how we can me measure like when the two chords are equidistant from the center which distance we have to mark as the distance from the center of a circle so let's say this is the line a b and this is a point p now if we can see properly we can have a different n number of lines like p l 1 p l 2 or p l 3 right or we can have n number of lines from the point P to this line. Now, if we consider PM, which is the shortest path or shortest distance, we can say from point P to line AB, right? So. This, this is the distance we have actually we have to actually take when we measure the distance from the center to the line so actually the length of a perpendicular from a point the length of a perpendicular from a point P to a line is a distance of the line from the point so it is always a perpendicular distance we have to take which is always a shortest distance between the point P to the line AB so we always have to take a perpendicular distance now same here this concept applies in the circle let's say this is the center of a circle and this is a two chords AB and CD now if we draw a perpendicular line OM and ON so this is the distance from the center of a circle O to the chord AB and CD so this is only the distance we have to take now so let's discuss the theorems related to the equal chords and equidistance when the two chords are equidistant from the center First, the theorem is equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center of a circle means when the two chords are equal, so let's say if the two chords are given PQ and SR, if they are equal, then they are also equidistant. So we need to prove that OL is equal to OM. So let's see how we can prove this. Now, first of all, we need to write given, right? Now, in this given, what's given is PQ equals to RS right and we need to prove that OL equals to OM so let's say how we can prove this so let's discuss the proof now if you consider this triangle let's say triangle O P L and triangle R O M so in this triangle we can say that O P equals to O R so they are the radius of circle right and we can say that we have drawn a two perpendicular O L and O M to the chord so we have done in the previous video that when we draw a perpendicular from the center of a circle to any chord so it bisects the chord so we can say that PL equals to LQ and RM equals to SM so we can say that PL equals to LQ and RM equals to MS so why they are equal because perpendicular drawn from the center of circle to a chord 
bisects the chord, bisects the chord. So since the chords are equal given, PQ is given equals to RS. So we can say that we can say that PL is also equals to RM, right? Now, so we have another condition that is PL equals to RM, which is proved now. We have proved, and we can say that angle OLP equals to angle OMR. So each 90 degree. Right now we have three condition one two three. Now let's say which congruency condition fulfills the criteria. Now we have one common side equal, and we have hypotenuse equal because they are the radius, and we have 90 degree. So we can say that triangle OPL is congruent to triangle ROM by RHS. Right. So we can say that. OL equals to OM by CPCT, right? So this is how we can prove that when the two chords are equal, they are equidistance. So when they are, this means OL equals to OM. So this is how we can prove these type of theorems. So let's discuss the next theorem, which is theorem number two. Now the theorem says that chords equidistance from the center of a circle are equal in length. So let's see how we can prove this theorem now. So let's say we have a circle like this. This is a center. Let's say this is a chord. Two chords we have. So let's say this is A, B, this is C and D. Now let's say we draw a perpendicular like this. This is 90 and this is 90. Now they are it's given they are equidistance means this line. So let's say this is a center and this equals to given. So let's say this is M and this is N. Now, so first of all, we need to write given. So it's given they are equidistant. So we can say that OM equals to ON. And we need to prove that AB equals to CD. So let's discuss how we can prove this okay, now. So if you draw again a triangle like this, right now, so again, we can say that OM equals to ON. So it's given, right? And again, we can say that OA equals to OC. It's a radius of a circle. Give it's a radius of a circle. And we have drawn a perpendicular from the center to the chords. So we can say that angle OMA equals to angle ONC. So each 90 degree. So we have three condition. OM equals to ON, it's given, and OA equals to OC, it's a radius of a circle, and these two angles are each 90 degree. So we have three conditions. So we can say that triangle OAM is congruent to triangle OCN by RHS again, right? So we can say that by CPCT, AM equals to CN by CPCT. Now, we need to prove AB equals to CD. So we know that when we draw a perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord, it bisects the chord. So we can say that AM equals to BM and CN equals to ND. Why? Because when we draw perpendicular from the center of circle to chord, it bisects the chord, right? So, so this means they are equal and we have proved that AM equals to CN. So we can write or we can write AMS half of AB by because it's bisect 
and CN we can write half of CD. So this and this get cancelled. So we can say that AB equals to CD. So this is how we can prove these type of theorems. Now, so let's discuss one example related to theorems. This theorem, so how we can use these theorems to solve any question which are very important from the exam point of view. So you have to watch this part of the video very carefully. Now, the question says that if two intersecting chords of a circle A makes equal angles with the diameter passing through their point of intersection, then we need to prove that the chords are equal. So, first of all, we need to write given. So, what's given? They make an equal angle. So, we can say that angle A, E, Q is equals to angle D, E, Q. It's given and it's a diameter. So, we can say that PQ is a diameter. Right? And what we need to prove? We need to prove that the chords are equal. We need to prove that AB equals to CD. So, let's discuss how we can prove this. Now, if you can see properly, so this is 90 and this is 90. Now, if we consider triangle LEO and EOM, right? Now, first of all, we need to write the construction also. We are drawing perpendicular. You can write the construction also because it's not given in the question that L, O, O, M are perpendicular drawn to the chords. So, we need to write a construction. So, construction is draw perpendiculars from center to the chord. Right? So, let's say we have drawn L, O and O, M. Right? So now again, we consider triangle LEO and triangle EOM. Now, so if we consider triangle LEO and triangle EOM, angle sum property says that 90, so this is 90, it's given, right? Plus angle, we can say AEQ, right? So this one, this angle plus angle L O E equals to 180 degree angle sum property we consider triangle LEO so angle 90 plus this angle plus this angle is 180 so we can say that angle A E Q plus angle L O E equals to 180 minus 90 so we can say that angle A E Q plus angle L O E is 90 degree, right? So we can say that angle L O E is equals to 90 minus angle A E Q, right? Now again consider triangle E O M. So same here if we consider triangle E O M, so angle sum property says that 90 plus angle D E Q plus angle MOE is 180 degree. So, similarly, we can write angle D EQ plus angle MOE is 180 minus 90, so which is 90 degree. So, we can say angle MOE equals to 90 minus angle D EQ, right? Now, it's given that angle AEQ and angle DEQ are equal. So, we can say that angle MOE is also equals to 90 minus angle AEQ. Why? Because it's given angle AEQ equals to angle DEQ. So, we can put AEQ instead of angle DEQ. So, let's say this is first and this is two. So, from one and two, we can say that angle LOE 
equals to angle M O E right so two angles are equal now again consider triangle LOE and angle triangle EOM so in this triangle angle AEQ equals to angle D EQ they are equal it's given or instead of let's say if we are considering triangle LOE and triangle EOM so it would be better if we can write instead of angle AEQ and DEQ we can write let's say angle L E O equals to angle MEO right so if we can write instead of angle AEQ and angle DEQ these two angles because it would make sense because we are considering triangle LEO and triangle EOM now and EO equals to EO so it's a common side right and we have proved right now that angle LOE equals to angle MOE so we have proved it above right so we have three conditions one two and three so we can say that triangle LEO is congruent to triangle EOM by ASA angle side angle right so this angle and this angle so these two triangles are congruent by ASA right so we can say that LO equals to MO by CPCT right now we know the theorem that if the two perpendicular drawn to the chord to the respective chords if they are equidistant from the center then the chords are equal so we have done right now the theorem so we can say that chords AB equals to CD why because perpendiculars are equidistant from the center right so we have done the theorem right now if you can remember so we can say that the chords a b and c d are equal so this is how we can use the theorems to solve the problems related to the circles so thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com keep watching for the videos have a nice day